So is the price of Bitcoin going to invalidate all the bearish scenario which we have talked in my video so far and start following this parallel channel breakout, following this descending broadening wedge breakout and even this ascending triangle breakout. What to expect next? What kind of scenario could be playing out in the media short term? We are going to talk about that in today's video and we are also going to quickly look at this Ethereum price action. So guys, before I jump into the content, please destroy that like button and for those individuals watching the first time come on hit the subscribe button and the bell now if you look at the price action of bitcoin here in a daily time frame yesterday we talked about this double top type of formation which was playing out for bitcoin we were very clear if the neckline around twenty seven thousand gets broken then the price objective from this double top will be somewhere between twenty five thousand five hundred to twenty six thousand range this was the price opportunity from this double top pattern. It was not just only because the price was forming this double top, but the indicators here to the downside was also showing weakness. This is still a bearish MACD cross. Even though, guys, even though the price right now is showing some bullishness, we still need to be careful because we haven't broken out of this key line of resistance. Yes, this here. It's a very, very important line of resistance around 28,800 range because we know if we do get rejected around that area, then we could be forming triple top type of formation. But if we do break out of this range and flip the upper line into support, then we know, guys, this will be looked as a continuation pattern. Price breaking out of this parallel channel and continuing this uptrend, even though, even though the indicators are not agreeing with this uptrend because this is a bearish MACD and RSI is clearly flashing a divergence, a bearish divergence where the price is making high highs, RSI is making lower highs. So that's why we are not getting an exact confirmation. So what I want you guys to do is to carefully monitor the price range around 28,600, 28,800 range because if we do manage to flip that into proper support, then we can also look at this price structure here in this manner, guys double bottom type of formation and once the neckline from this double bottom gets broken then we could start a rally where the price in that case could be getting attracted towards this 30,000 range right before deciding the trend duration because we know yesterday we even talked about this y cups reaction phase where i showed you guys that maybe we could be in between this phase b and phase c and what happened between this phase B, phase C? The price shows range bound, but at the end gets gravitated towards the phase C, find support, and then start this actual continuation pattern. So in our case, if this get invalidated, then we need to break the resistance line. Yes, guys, that's why I showed you with the previous example. If the price of Bitcoin does want to show this bullishness, then we need to flip this resistance around. 28,800 into proper support because by doing that, we know we are going to be invalidating this reaction phase from Wyckoff, where the price after that could turn very, very bullish. And why? Because we know yesterday I showed you guys with rounding top, right? Rounding top and also with the parallel channel. But since the rounding top resistance has already been broken and now the price is approaching around this resistance from the parallel channel, if this is going to be a continuation. I mean a bull flag type of continuation then you can see guys the price of bitcoin looks very bullish right very bullish for the upcoming days where 33,000 34,000 will be looked as the potential target but I want to keep things very real so in the medium short term if we flip this upper resistance into support around 28,800 range then I am actually expecting the price of bitcoin to continue this uptrend more like a a sending triangle yes guys uh, a sending triangle with a continuation in this manner and that also shows around 33,000 could be our price objective so that's why guys looking into different scenarios looking to different time frame the price of bitcoin needs to flip the 28,800 resistance into proper support before expecting any sort of a bullish price movement because we know in a smaller time frame Things are looking very good. I mean, this descending broadening wedge is also indicating if the price manages to remain above this key line of support. I mean, the line which previously acted as a resistance is going to be acting as a support around 28,500, 28,400 range. If we do manage to remain above that area in the media short term, 
then the price objective is going to be around 30,000 range from this descending broadening wedge. But if you look at the example, the reason why I chose two different examples, one here is a bullish continuation after breaking out of this upper line. Second one is a fake out. I mean, after some range bound, even after breaking out of the upper resistance, you can see it was a fake out where the price gets gravitated to the downside before continuing the uptrend. So that's why. That's why he in the medium short term, this 28,400, 28,500 must hold the price because if we fail to hold that range, means this could be turning out into a fake out price, getting attracted towards the lower trend line and then only continue this uptrend. But regardless of the scenarios, guys, both are considered bullish. Even if the trend is going to see reversal to the downside, that will be temporary reversal before price again starts showing bullishness. And now, now guys, if you look at this, falling trendline breakout scenario which we have talked so many times in my video we know the price has broken the key line of resistance yes the same line which previously acted as a resistance acted as a support and after that we had a very nice impulsive movement in price action of bitcoin so according to this example if this exact movement is going to happen then we are also expecting some sort of a range bound even a retest right retest around this key line of support before continuing our uptrend so that's why the price in the media short term needs to hold the support around 28,400 28,500 and if you want to continue this uptrend then we need to break the resistance around 28,800 at any cost because failing to break above that line will trigger another bearishness where the price could get attracted towards the support here to the downside and the most important support in a bigger time frame is sitting somewhere between 25,000 to 25,500 range and even if that is going to happen you can see it is still considered bullish overall retest from this key line of resistance and then continuing our uptrend and now even according to this inverse head and shoulder here in a weekly time frame we can see guys neckline has already been broken but in our case there hasn't been any retest of the neckline area in this example you can see a retest happen where we got attracted towards the neckline area before turning bullish so in our case if this exact scenario is going to play out i have been very clear with this example the previous temporary race line around 25,000 to 25,500 is going to be acting as a support even the neckline from this inverse head and shoulder around 25,500 is going to be acting as a strong line of support and now guys beside bitcoin price action let's also focus on this ethereum price action but before i start talking about ethereum please this right that like button if you haven't done it yet and for those individuals watching the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell now looking at this price action of ethereum if you have been following me for a while we did talked about this breakout a breakout from this descending channel or so-called a bull flag formation and after breaking out of this upper trend line we have started to show this bullishness and i was very clear with you guys according to this descending channel breakout our price objective or the area where the price could be getting attracted is around 2000 to 2200 range and even from this broadening wedge our price objective is around 2000 to 2200 range and now if i would switch this time frame into daily time frame you can see this broadening wedge is playing out perfectly after retest from this key line of resistance we started showing bullishness and now if this trend is going to continue you can see for ethereum 2000 to 2200 is where we could be getting attracted and even if we do see any sort of a weakness some range bound then this exact line which previously acted as the resistance is going to be acting as a support above 1750 range so this is what i see right now looking at the price action of bitcoin but before i conclude this video I just want to quickly jump into this crypto total market cap excluding Bitcoin. Yes, this here is all coin market cap. And now if we look at this falling trend line, things are looking very interesting for all coins as well. Because this line, which previously acted as a resistance, looks like it could be being flipped into support around next week. I mean, around next week, the candle might close above this falling trend line. And if that happens, this will turn the altcoins very very bullish so that's why if the altcoins market cap is going to break above this resistance you can see which is sitting around 618 to 620 billion dollar then the next area where we could be getting gravitated is the 
670 to 680 billion range because this is exactly the area where we previously found support and also resistance and this is exactly where we could be getting attracted 670 680 billion dollar range and even breaking that into support then we could be getting attracted towards this main line of resistance one of the most important line of resistance which could bring the market cap around 900 to 1 trillion dollar range so let's also monitor this altcoins market cap very very carefully because if we do see a breakout from this line that means holding all coins for the upcoming days could be profitable so this was some of the quick update guys if you enjoyed the work then please 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 destroy that like button and for those individuals watching the first time hit the subscribe button and the bell now by saying this i'm signing out my name is anu bye bye